together. And what we've been working on is to sell people on the idea that if you can go to work and you choose not to, maybe you shouldn't expect the other people who go to work to pay for all your shit. <laughs> What's up? I, this is the difference between Lauren Boebert and Matt Gates. For me to get my chance to be on Timcast, I had to drive into the middle of the fucking woods. <laughs> and you all come here for the Lauren Boebert experience. So I get the difference. But I, I mostly came by because when I had the chance to, to go out to Timcast land, you said I was your favorite congressman. And I, I firmly believe that that's because you had not yet met Anna Paulina Luna <laughs> and so many of my colleagues who, right. who were here. But I was just glad to be on because so many people, I, I, after you go on Timcast, there's like this whole experience where you get to read the comments and all of the great things people say about Ian. <laughs> and And... What, what I didn't appreciate when I went on your show is how many people who wear their name on their shirt every day watch. And when I went out to uh, events in my district, the law enforcement that provided security said they watched him cast. Wow. The, the teachers in the schools who are out there fighting against the woke culture and the critical race theory say they watch you and they get inspiration. Uh, the, the folks who come out of the kitchen at the restaurants where I ate, who were back there watching dishes and slinging hash, said, you know, we watched him pool. And when he said that he thought you were a fighter, we knew we could believe it. And wow. it's a, it, it was a very powerful thing. It was, it was great to spend time with you out in the wilderness, but quite something to see how the people all over this country who work hard and expect more out of their government really believe in you. And one of the things we're fighting for on this debt limit work requirements we got to have a strategy that unites 222 republicans and you know what there are times that's not the case there are times when anna and lauren and byron and jim jordan and i have to go out on a limb and engage in fights that nobody else is willing to engage in but to deal with the fact that our country has maxed out our credit card debt and we have to reflect on our spending habits as a consequence means we got to have people from center right from the perspective I represent get together. And what we've been working on is to sell people on the idea that if you can go to work and you choose not to, maybe you shouldn't expect the other people who go to work to pay for all your shit. You know, your health care, your transportation, your child care, your cell phone bill. And so I appreciate the forum to be able to do that. And that's the next big fight. We all, we, every great general fights the last war. And we got to fight the next one. And the next one is about how we deal with this country's fiscal crisis. The man on the news says the problem is me. I'm just a small town boy with big American dreams. The world's going crazy.